Hi there, it's Jenny from Quick Anime Recap. And today we're recapping an anime named Osama K. So sit tight and enjoy the video. The anime begins with Suihara Maru, a very kind and honest person, talking for the first time with Shiro Kusakachi, and famous author and his classmate. They talk about her novel, Falling in Love for the First Time. Sometime later, Haru tells his friend Tetsuhiko Kai about his plans to confess to Kachi in the Confession Festival at the end of their school cultural festival. Even though Tetsuhiko trying to convince him that she's way out his league, he still want to confess to her. While they comment about Tetsuhiko infamy with the girls, Kachi shows her antisocial behavior towards a classmate. Because of this, Haru witness Kachi crying alone in the library. Haru then goes to help Tetsuhiko with the cultural festival preparations, and he questioned why Haru didn't date his childhood friend, Kuroha Shida. Speaking of the devil, she appears, and asks Haru if he regret turning her confession down. However, when Haru answer he didn't regret it, Kuro try to play it off as just a game. Just then, they hear that Kachi already got a boyfriend, Aid Mitsuru. And hearing this, Haru runs away feeling sad. In a river bank, Kuro shows up to comfort Haru and reaffirms her love for him. She proposes that they should get revenge on them for causing their emotional pain. Taken by jealous, Haru accept the revenge plan. The next day, after watching a Abe interview about his acting career, Haru reunites with Kuro to devise a plan. To which, Kuro suggests they fake being in a relationship to make Kachi jealous. Haru reluctantly accepts, and Kuro uses this situation to try to seduce him, she tries to kiss him to get the deal done. But, still in love for Kachi, he runs away before they could kiss. At the rooftop, Haru is defeated because he failed to gather any information about Abe's weakness or flaw. In that moment, Abe confronts Haru, reveling that he remembers him as a child prodigy actor. After remember his days as a famous child actor, Abe continues to confront Haru, revealing that he will try to date Kachi in order to prove himself is superior to him, infuriating Haru. Later, Haru says to Tetsuhiko he will help him in the cultural festival play in order to compete with Abe. Kuro then enters the class and purposely reveals to the whole class that they are dating, which made Kachi a little jealous. With no story for the play, Haru asks Kachi's help with writing the story. And surprisingly, she accepts it. Later that night, Kuro visits Haru house, and they discuss about Kuro's sisters. Because Kuro lives next to Haru, he spent a lot of time with Haru and her sisters, treating them like his own sisters. While Kuro is cleaning up his table, she notices a photo of Haru with his old childhood friend, Shiro. Which Haru explains that back then Shiro would write story for him to act in. And out of nowhere, Haru receives a phone call from Kachi about the play. She inform him that she already reserved a spot at the library for them to discuss the play. After the phone call, Kuro becomes jealous and they both provokes each other. Seeing Kuro in a flustered state, Haru tees her with a kiss. But, he chickened out at the last minute. The next day, Haru tries to rehearse for play, but he collapses during it. Waking up in the nursery alongside Kachi, she gives him a script for his play, but she asks why he stopped acting in exchange. He reveals that after his mother died in an accident onset, their series was eventually put on hiatus and he grew traumatized and left the acting scene. After revealing it, Kachi gives him the script and runs away. A flashback then shown that, Kachi is actually Shiro, Haru's childhood friend, daughter of one of Haru's drama sponsor and his big fan. It's show that her father introduced Haru to her as a gift, and he became her only friend. They even made a promise of doing a movie together, but one day he stopped meeting her. Feeling betrayed, believing she and their promise had no meaning for him, she became a strong and beautiful woman in order of get revenge on him one day. But after learning the truth about Haru's demise, she regrets it. That night, Haru and Kuro devises a plan to ruin Abe's confession to Kachi, and Haru thanks Kuro for her help. At the day of the confession festival, Haru have a minor confrontation with Abe when he is walking with Tetsuhiko. After telling his opinion about the revenge, Haru goes to his class, which has been turned into a Japanese cafe for the cultural festival. Where, after interacting with Kuro, he is called by a mysterious person. In the school stairs, the mysterious person reveals to be Shiro, Haru's childhood friend which he lost touch six years ago. 
After he remember their promise, Shiro reveals that she had changed, showing that she is actually Kachi. After defying their relationship from that point on, Kachi meets Kuro in the stairs, who reveals she haven't lose yet. After that, Haru and Kuro talks with each other, and they both go on a date on the festival. After the date, Kuro slaps Haru, ending their fake relationship, and Kuro tells that, whatever happens in the confession festival, she'll be watching him. In the confession festival, Haru reaffirms his determination to go on with his plan to Tetsuhiko. During Abe's confession, he proceeds by singing an act from the show Haru was in, which Haru then shows up and takes the stage. During the confession, Haru says that he doesn't love Kachi anymore, declares himself to Kuro instead. But surprisingly, she rejects his confession, shocking the whole crowd. After the festival, Tetsuhiko and Abe have a talk, where he reveals that Kachi had planned to make Haru fell in love for her in order to reject him. But Kuro's presence ruined the plan, leading to the fake dating with Abe. Abe also reveals that he is Haru's big fan, and accepted to play the villain in order to bring him back to the stage. Elsewhere, a girl named Momo, watches Haru's performance at the festival, recognizing him as her big brother. In the middle of night, Haru, Kuro and Kachi are still suffering from their choices and humiliation during the confession festival. On the following day, while the trio still depressed, Tetsuhiko reveals having uploaded Haru's rejection on the internet, and it is going viral gathering millions of views, much to Haru's anger. Suddenly, his class is visited by the famous actress Maria Mamasaka, who hugs Haru in front of everyone. Haru explains to the jealous Kuro and Shiro that he and Momo are childhood friends too, Haru being her senpai in their agency. Momo then confess her love for him, and swear to make Haru forget both Kuro and Kachi, infuriating them both. During lunch, Tetsuhiko apologizes for uploading the video and give him a pizza, which he accepts, believing he did it, in order to help him with a possible retake of his acting career. Tetsuhiko then introduced the one who brought the pizza, Rina Asagi, a jack-of-all-trades and a middle school friend of Tetsuhiko. Haru asks if she does erotic services, and she denies, teasing Haru alongside Tetsuhiko. During the discussion, Kachi appears and with Mako's help, tries to invite Haru for a date. But she immediately back out and start to quarrel with Tetsuhiko about the video. Just then, Kuro appears behind them. Still traumatized over the rejection, Haru retreats into a monkey and hides behind Kachi, forcing Kuro to tearfully leave. In the river, Haru talks to Tetsuhiko through the phone, he explains that he got scared because he doesn't know Kuro anymore. And after the discussion, Tetsuhiko asks Kuro, who heard everything, what she will do next. Coming home, Haru is welcomed by Momo, who borrows his house keys from Kuro's mother. Having made dinner and reveals that their agency, now run by the previous head's son, wants to convince Haru to return to acting, as well as Kuro too. During the talk, Kuro's younger sister shows up, and after Momo hides herself, they tell Haru that Kuro is acting strangely, and that she might have amnesia. After Momo messes around with Haru and the Kuro siblings a bit before leaving, the sisters reveal that Kuro has supposedly lost all of her memories since her initial confession to Haru. Despite still being hard for him to get closer to her after the rejection, he resolves to help her in any way he can. Kuro herself then tells him that she wants to start over, so she can rebuild their trust. Kachi then arrives to give the two a ride, believing that she's faking the amnesia, so Haru comes up with a plan to test it. At lunch, he feeds her a bento with octopus hot dog, as a traumatic incident in their past made it so that she's sensitive to certain tastes. However, she proceeds to eat it with no problem. As the two discuss about Haru potentially going back into acting, Kachi and Tetsuhiko barge in to offer their own opinions. Tetsuhiko reveals that he wants to start producing videos with his entertainment club, with Kachi writing scripts, and tries to convince Haru to accept. To decide what he wants, he goes and visit the agency, with Kuro, Kachi, Tetsuhiko, and Momo accompanying him. The president, Shun Hardy, tempts them with an over $100 million deal, however Kuro still declines the offer. As Hardy continues to insist she take the deal, and proceeds to insult her over it, Haru retaliates pouring a bottle of wine over him. After Haru drops wine on his head, Shun speaks ill of everyone, being almost assaulted by Tetsuhiko, who is held back by Haru. 
Just as Shun about to call the police, Kachi's father shows up, and he successfully mediate the fight. At the end, Momo proposes to solve this argument with a commercial contest. Both Hardy Pro and Ultramarine Channel will produce two commercials, and the one the public gives more votes, will wins. Although Haru begs her, Momo will take Hardy Pro side during the competition. With Shun wins, Haru will work for him, but if he loses, he won't call the police or sabotage him, if he goes after other agencies. The following day, the gang do their first reunion about their commercial, which is about a drinking trademark. Later that night, Momo remember how she and her sister, Eri Mamasaka, ran away from their abusive parents. This forced Eri to work extra hard to raise her little sister, which makes Momo hates herself more. Until she met Haru, who mentored her, but disappeared after he abandoned the showbiz. Both sisters watch the Ultramarine channel first commercial together, but it missed the point and it's more about the channel than the product. The following night, they watch their second commercial, about Acid Snake's new song, and it is a success, all thanks to Haru's talent. As Ultramarine Channel wins the contest, everyone commemorates it. Tetsuhiko is then contacted by Kachi's father, who expressed that he will support their channel. And he goes on to reveals that he knows he is Shun's son. As Momo announces she will now attend on the same school as them, because she wanted to get closer to Haru. Haru had to run away from his jealous classmates. After hiding from them, thanks to Rina's help. She asks him why he only befriend with Tetsuhiko, which he reveals it's because everyone approached him with ulterior motives besides him.